Today, we are going to look at a body vest brain builder about the integument and eczema. Eczema, an inflammatory skin condition, affects over 31 million adults in the United States and 10 to 20% of infants within their first few months of life, according to the CDC. In this brain builder, we'll take a close look at the layers of the skin and the accessory structures responsible for maintaining it. Then, we'll explore eczema, its varied forms, symptoms, causes, and available treatments. The integumentary system, comprising the skin and its derivatives like nails, hair, and glands, serves multiple functions that are crucial for bodily health. These include protection against microorganisms and desiccation, lipid synthesis and storage, excretion of wastes, temperature regulation, synthesis of vitamin D3, immune response coordination, and sensing environmental stimuli. The skin consists of two main layers, the outer epidermis and the deeper dermis. Thick skin, which is primarily found on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet, features a five-layered epidermis, while thin skin, covering the rest of the body, has four layers. The epidermis is the outermost protective layer of the skin. The layers of the epidermis, from deep to superficial, are the stratum basale, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum, which is only in thick skin, and stratum corneum. Above the stratum spinosum lies the stratum granulosum, where cells release granules containing keratin and lipids. These substances coat cells in the stratum corneum, enhancing its protection against environmental threats and providing water resistance. In thick skin, the stratum lucidum sits superficially to the stratum granulosum. Here, cells lack organelles, tightly bound by fully formed keratin proteins. At the skin's surface, the stratum corneum comprises dead cells rich in keratin. It is fortified by intact intercellular connections from the stratum spinosum and lipid-rich substances from the stratum granulosum, enhancing its protective properties. The dermis, beneath the epidermis, contains two layers, the reticular and papillary layers. The reticular layer, the deepest, is composed of dense connective tissue fibers surrounding the structures such as blood vessels, nerves, and glands, providing structural integrity. The papillary layer, closer to the epidermis, consists of loose connective tissue, providing nourishment and facilitating sensory input from the epidermal receptors. Keratin in the epidermis forms a protective coating over the epithelial cells of the outermost layer, the stratum corneum. This layer's protective function shields against environmental pathogens and enhances water resistance. However, exposure to the environment can cause these cells to become dry and brittle. Sebaceous glands produce sebum, a thick, waxy substance that lubricates and protects the hair and surrounding skin. Sebum is released into hair follicles and then onto the skin's surface, maintaining the health of the hair and epithelium. Sebaceous follicles, large glands without hair production, directly communicate with the epidermis. They are primarily located on the face, back, chest, external genitalia, and nipples, producing sebum to protect and lubricate the skin in these areas. Eczema, or dermatitis, is an inflammatory skin condition that is not contagious. It leads to dry, itchy skin with symptoms such as rashes, scaly patches, blisters, and potential skin infections. Symptoms of eczema commonly appear on areas such as the hands, neck, face, especially cheeks, ears, and lips, feet, knees, ankles, and elbows. It may occur intermittently, with some experiencing occasional flare-ups followed by symptom-free periods. Atopic dermatitis is the most prevalent form of eczema, but there are other types such as contact dermatitis, dyshydrotic eczema, neurodermatitis, numular eczema, also called discoid eczema, seborrheic dermatitis, and stasis dermatitis. Diagnosing a specific type can be challenging due to overlapping symptoms. Eczema stems from an overactive immune response, often influenced by genetic factors like a deficiency in the protein filigrin, which helps maintain skin moisture. Various environmental triggers can also exacerbate eczema, including dust mites, dry air, heat, certain soaps, fabrics, formaldehyde, and antibacterial agents in personal care products. 
Diagnosing eczema typically involves a thorough examination by a dermatologist based on medical history and symptoms. Physical examinations, allergy tests, and skin biopsies are common methods of diagnosis. Treatment approaches vary and may involve identifying and avoiding triggers, using moisturizers, and sometimes medications like anti-inflammatories or immunosuppressants to manage symptoms. While eczema isn't usually harmful to one's overall health, it can be uncomfortable and embarrassing. Unfortunately, in some cases, it is a chronic condition without a cure and symptom relief isn't always achievable. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 30. Sex, male. Chief complaints, itchy, dry patches on hands and wrists and red inflamed areas on his face. You invite the patient into your office for an examination. Your patient's medical history reveals a long-standing battle with eczema since childhood with no significant medical issues apart from his condition. A family history of eczema also sheds light on potential genetic predispositions. Despite regular use of over-the-counter moisturizers and steroid creams, his symptoms persist. Environmental factors such as exposure to chemicals at work, high pollen levels in his living area, and the use of scented laundry detergents exacerbate his condition. Through a comprehensive examination, including allergy testing, you tailor a new treatment plan for your patient. This plan involves avoiding known triggers, prescribing stronger topical corticosteroids for acute flare-ups, and educating the patient on proper skincare practices. A follow-up appointment is scheduled to monitor progress and adjust the management plan accordingly, emphasizing the importance of ongoing support and communication. This has been a classic example of eczema. Thank you for watching this Brain Builder video. Please like and subscribe to our BodyViz channel, or if you are new at BodyViz, check out our other anatomy resources and schedule a demo at bodyviz.com.